So I've been casually using the print function quite a bit, and I just want to get into it a little bit more. So I'm going to print this is printing to the console. And we get a message that says this is printing to the console. No big surprise. We can declare a variable such as uh, some string and let's set it to printing. And I'm going to modify what's in this print statement. I'm introducing this a little bit early because it's going to exist in a number of lessons. I'm going to take this string that is in the print function and I'm going to make it into an F string. And I'm going to replace this word printing with a reference to some string. So essentially what this is doing is it's going to take some string and it's going to set it in here. And when I print this, we're going to get the same result. Now if I change this to, this is uh, a cat. This is a cat to the console. So notice it's just inserting this directly in here. One of the great uses of printing is watching how things change. So, you know, we demonstrated something like this before where we look at x as it changes. So we can do this multiple times and what we'll see when it's all said and done is x in every state. So a great use for print statements is to find a moment in your code and display it to you. One last thing I want to share is input. So you can take input from a user, and I'm just going to do something really quick here. X gets the input of, give me input, and if I run this, well, let's print X afterward. If I run this, give me input, hey, and it prints out hey immediately afterward. So let's change this to give me your name, and let's change this print statement to your name is x, and my name is Tovio, your name is Tovio. Thank you. One thing I want to point out here is the type of x. So I'm going to, instead I'm going to give it a number, say your number is x, and when I put a number in here, 7, notice that it's class string. It's not actually an integer as we'd expect it to be. So one of the things that we do if we're taking input from a user and we want it to be an integer, we can just cast it to an integer. And now when I run this, we're going to see that 7 is of class int. 